Hello, my name is Tim Schantz, and I'm uh, really thrilled here to be with a couple of friends and colleagues, um, David Newman and Caleb Nelson. Uh, I'm the director of Luminous Voices, artistic director, and uh, we recently did an experiment. Uh, we called it Car Choir, LV Car Choir number one. And it was a lot of fun and a great, great uh, boost for us uh, personally and for our audience to attend and, and be part of the experience. But it was really a concept that I uh, picked up from David Newman, a fantastic singer, as well as instructor, teacher, and really creative mind uh, with his incredible theory videos and songs and many other uh, great crazy ideas. Uh, he came up with the plan, why couldn't we just um, ha have a group of people sing together using FM signals? And David, how did you think of this and what, what, what brought it on back way back in the spring? Well, um, mostly, mostly after the Nats ACDA webinar that sort of said, we're never going to be able to sing again. Um, I, I thought, well, that's silly. We, we absolutely can. And we can, I have stuff that, you know, I just did a recording the summer before, um, where we were all, we were, we were recording simultaneously, but we were all separated into different booths. And I thought that's, that is isolating. We can do that. And what do we have at hand? We have cars. And, and at first I just thought, well, I own a live sound system. Um, I have some wireless mics. So I in, just invited some people to come to my house and park across the street. And, and we would just prove that you could do it with a live sound system and I hadn't even thought about using an FM transmitter yet um, so I just I brought out a PA speaker I thought about running headphone wires to people and that seemed complicated and I didn't have enough headphones or enough extension cords and um, so we did it with a PA speaker and then I just thought well I wonder if an FM transmitter would work if it would have latency. I didn't know whether there would be extra latency involved. Um, and I figured what better way than to try it. So the first time we tried it and there was no latency, it was just so exciting. <laughs> and, um, and, and, you know, and my wife parked all the way down the street and, uh, and we sang around together and it worked. And so uh, I just, at that point, tried to get bigger and bigger groups together to prove that it could work um which and, you know it was hard to get people to to try out something that hadn't been done before well and you but what you did smartly is that you documented all these experiments along the way like you had you set up video and you you were trying to share and show people what you can do. And I, I, I forgot to mention, you're coming to us from James Madison University in Virginia, <laughs> Harrisonburg, Virginia. Uh, I'm actually here in Edmonton, even though I'm with uh, Luminous Voices in Calgary, but, uh, and then Caleb Nelson is also in Edmonton. Um, so yeah, you were br brilliant with setting up the video and, uh, and sharing this experience and uh, try to get other people interested in, in the idea, right? And mostly I just wanted people to know there is a way that you can sing together, that this can happen and, and that the experience of singing together is worth whatever we do to make it happen um, safely. Right. I guess that's the thing for us is that I had a, a radio interview where they asked, well, you know, you're allowed to sing now with small groups of people in, in the same room. You know, why, why are you doing this? And, and it's, it's novel, yes, but it's also an abundance of caution. And we actually were able to have one or two other two people included that uh, might have had some cold symptoms in their home that, mm -hmm. you know, might have been, we might have been uh, on the fence with including them in a different experience, but felt that this was a very safe experience. 
um, when we held this in, in on October fourth in Calgary. Um, maybe I could just ask and shift to Caleb because Caleb, I got I asked you to get involved, knowing about your amazing abilities um, with anything technical and sound, and <laughs> but also just with your ears and your your ability to understand what uh, what the voices are doing and, and understand ensemble singing uh, better than most. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about uh, our first experiments. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, for me, it's such a pleasure to be uh, involved in this. Uh, it's, I've been involved in choral music for such a long time and uh, along, the, along the way, lots of involvement in, in uh, the, the electronic side of this, especially jazz choirs, that sort of thing. I do a lot of a lot of tech stuff, a lot of pop music that, that sits well outside of choral music, and so there's lots of experience with gear and, how, and that sort of thing. Um, so in my mind, this was just a, a largest jazz choir where everyone happened to be there in their own cars. Um, when you can simplify the, the, the process into, into individual bite-sized chunks. Okay, everyone's in their car, everyone has a mic, all those mics get fed to a snake, and then it's just a jazz choir at that point. That's the, the, the snake feeds the audio back to your mixer, you mix that up and send it to your FM, FM transmitter and Bob's your uncle. Everyone, everyone hears the same thing. It's, it's really is, it's, it's simple even though it doesn't really seem simple. And it's not really simple, but it's, if you're careful, you can make it simple. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I mean, both of you are far more technically advanced than I am. And uh, I, you know, I'm, I, be, I, I remain somewhat analog in my world. And, um, you know, talk, talk again, David, what are we doing? Like, what, what is it that you're doing? Like, just from the simple um, so once sound gets to the microphone from a singer, um, at that point, it starts traveling at essentially the speed of light. The signal tr starts traveling at the speed of light. So you're reducing the latency of the whole system. Um, in fact, you may have noticed that when you did your choir, one of the weird things almost is that it's like every other person in the choir is sitting right next to you. That's, that's actually surprisingly unusual. Yeah. Um, because you're used to actually compensating for more latency than you're experiencing. So that's I forgot right. to I hadn't thought of that. That's great. Yeah, from your basses over your sopranos, that would take longer than the microphone signal through. That's cool. Yeah. And so, um, so anyway, you're sending a signal. So the one of the longest bits of latency is just getting from your mouth to the microphone. And then everything else happens really fast. The, it gets sent to a mixer, as Caleb said. Um, and you send it back with an FM stereo and the with a, an FM transmitter. And the, the neat thing is that in an era when we could really use mobile isolation booths with built in sound systems, we a lot of us already have one. Yeah. Like, a lot That's of right. us have too many of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and and so you know the car stereo. It's as simple as that. If you have a, hopefully you have an FM signal you can get on your car stereo, and uh, and a decent speaker system in your car, and yeah, then you hear the choir in your car as you sing. But the 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 brilliant thing was for us uh, the response of actually having an audience as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, obviously you, we're used to applause at the end of uh, performing something, but then we had, uh, of course, audience hearing everything we were talking about. We, we, we kept it relaxed and had a great time uh, with a bit of banter too. And then to get the response instead with the car horn, <laughs> That was a, a real joy. It was I, thrilling, I thought. It was just like, what's going on yeah. here? And it's you just you have to imagine if you were walking by and you didn't have headphones or an FM transmitter, all you're seeing is Tim waving his arms like a silly person up there, and then everyone honking at the end. You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess he did a good job. Yeah. Now we were using the simplest of transmitters, as you suggested, David. Uh, it was just, you know, a twenty-five dollar. I don't know. I, I bought a few of them just in case, yeah. but um, it was no problem to reach. Well, if we we're talking in meters, I was saying two hundred fifty meters or so easily. 
Uh, but we're talking about investing maybe in something that can broadcast a little further, as long as we don't break the rules of uh, the CRTC in Canada. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, we don't want to take over the radio waves, as it were. But in Alberta, we have a few more radio waves available to use. <laughs> right. You're, you're, you have a better uh, system, actually, in Canada. Uh, in, in the United States, the laws are very vague and very hard to comply with. Um, and, and so you, you would be risky to use a, you would risk large penalties by using a larger mm. thing. But I think in Canada, there's, there's very strict, the guidelines aren't about how far the signal reaches, but about how many Watts you can put into the system and ah. how large the antenna is. I'm not sure about that. You'd have to check. Yeah. Well, thank you. We're, you're, yeah. you're, you're informing us. Yeah, I mean this. This is the same technology, though, that uh, drive-in movie theaters use. Uh, there's a lot of uh, places of worship uh, that might have someone using a headset to listen to what's going on because they can't hear it otherwise. The, it's this is not uh, new technology, right? No, no, this this whole project could have been done easily in the '80s. Mm -hmm. Easily, easily, easily in the 80s, which is really interesting and probably earlier than that. I don't know how, how early you could have gone back then, but uh, um, but it's 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 all of all of our digital. We're so proud of all our digital stuff and it's just like analog to the rescue. It really helped us out here. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking there's a there's a, actually an age thing. You have to be in order to have, you know, come up with this idea. You have to be old enough to remember having a tape deck Yes. And an or or an FM radio yep. and wanting to play a CD, but a all you CD have is your portable out of CD your disc player. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course that's why we have these little FM transmitters is yeah. just just to be able to do that. It's worth noting that our our troubles with uh, some of the newer digital cars though too, right? Um, yes. because uh, so the older cars uh, you know they receive the signal the way that you know you expect it to but with some of the newer ones there seems to be some processing David you seem to know do you know what's going on there or did you just notice it um, the there are some new digital stereos that uh, in attempt to be better they say they take the FM signal in and then they process it and they introduce as much as a half second of delay into the processing of it when they don't need to do that at all but apparently they do um so yeah the only cars that don't work are cars with like brand new digital stereo systems did you notice a, a brand name on the car ours our two problem cars were both i think mitsubishis uh super well they were subaru subaru right? subaru yeah. Yeah. Subaru, I do, I, I've had a Subaru that had it, and I've had a Toyota that had okay, it. Okay, so it's not just one. Okay, that's we'll have to we'll want to chart some of that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> but and and one car, um, some so the person who had the Toyota uh, brought their other car, but they had just installed a brand new digital stereo into oh, that oh, car, so oh. that had the same problem. <laughs> Well, we transistor to the rate uh, to the rescue. So we bought a few little uh, small radios to throw into the car to help because uh, then at least it's not a good quality sound, but at least you could actually hear it exactly it's as it's sync. happening. It's really yeah. what you all the, for the singer's point of view, what you need is sync um, and something to keep you in time and in tune. It's the same principles we're talking about with all these like online videos. You got to stay in time. You got to stay in tune. And that's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um. We're going to do this again, David, because it was such a great success in Calgary. We're starting to make some plans. I haven't talked to you, Caleb, about, about that yet, but there's other people that can also do this, right? I mean, right. It, and the idea is to get this being used. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a safe way for people to feel comfortable to attend yep. uh, and to have people in, in the, their cars. Um, if we're dealing with, you know, more COVID issues in the next months uh, and for who knows how long, it's just a, a nice way to interact in music. So, um, yeah, do you have any plans or do you know others that are doing this? Um, I mean, there is a whole group of people who are um, doing this. There's a Facebook group. Um, I wish I had the name of it to tell you right now, but I don't. Um, but uh, uh, Catherine and Bryce Denny in Massachusetts have um, been doing a lot with this and pushing it. Um, 
They were mentioned in that New York Times article that was uh, me yeah. mentioned you and them, right? Yeah. Right, right. And, and uh, you know, I'm working full time, so I'm, <laughs> I'm not pushing this so hard now. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but they really are. And, uh, and I, I'm looking into other things, but I'm so excited that you have picked this up because you made it sound good. Uh, you showed that it can really... <laughs> that it can happen and it can sound great. Yeah, well, thank you. I mean, it was a lot of fun and it needs, it needs a person who knows what they're doing in the sound for it to sound okay as well. <laughs> but uh, a big, big shout out to Luminous Voices and to Caleb here especially. So yeah, uh, what about Caleb? Are, are you thinking of uh, doing this with others in, in, in and around Edmonton? I've uh, just talking to a couple of people, you know, if people are always interested in like, what are you, what are you doing to, to, you know, stay, stay not crazy during the pandemic? And everyone who I talk to about this says like, oh, how, like how much is that going to cost? And it's like, well, I don't even know, you know, it's, it's, and it's, I do really want to get onto this, this wagon of teaching people how to do it themselves. Because you, you couldn't have regular rehearsals if you had to pay a sound engineer every, t every time right um, uh -huh. but if you could find some gear that wasn't that it was available and you could make it work for yourself and I, and you could you could just you need a few pointers to show you like how to mix a choir like this you know um, for me when I was do I, I was I was really careful about sub mixing uh, luminous voices into soprano like uh, instead of trying to mix 13 voices all at once to sub mix the mix them down to soprano alto tenor bass and then once you've got, if you're if you're careful about your panning in your FM signal, you can also uh, balance based on where you hear the uh, the particular you know this the the part in your in your stereo spectrum, and that really helped me out to to like oh sopranos are too hot, both because they're too they're the highest part, but they're also on my left side, so you can really tell what's going on. Really mm -hmm. helpful. Uh, well, it was. An amazing experience and thank you for your singing too Caleb on the, the video if people want to actually uh, hear any results of this you can find it on our uh, YouTube page you can subscribe to YouTube we're just getting going a bit more on that so we don't have many subscribers yet we need more um, and uh, and David uh, you can also just subscribe to David's page and uh, see all the other amazing videos that he has on many different areas in music uh, thanks, David and Caleb, for being here and talking with us about this. Thank no you. No problem. See you. Talk Bye. later.